start over. Hi, I'm Autumn and I'm seven years old. And we're gonna do some math. Well, today we thought we would talk about the addition algorithm. Yes! Exactly! And then what we were going to do is explain the addition algorithm using place value tables. Now recently, place value tables have been under a little bit of controversy when a, because a father wrote a place value table onto a check and then complained about them. Well, the whole point of a place value table is to help the children learn how to use the addition algorithm. And once the addition algorithm is understood, we don't use the place value tables anymore. So let's go and take a look at one of those problems. Okay, let's go. Okay, so now we're at the light board and we can actually uh, show you the place value table for a particular num for a particular sum. Uh, so recall that an addition algorithm is is when you do when you line up the numbers in columns and you add the first column and then you move over to the tens and you add the tens and you move over to the hundreds and add the hundreds and so on. Well, let's write up a, a problem. You ready to begin, Autumn? Yes. Okay, let's see. On the place, let's do the place value table first. Mm -hmm. uh, can you represent 56 for me? Let's go over here. Okay, that's a one, a one, one and a one. So that represents six ones. That represents how many tens? Five. Five tens. Let's write up uh, 28. Yep, there you go. One, two, three, four, five. Whoop, let's, let's use our 10 frames. Six, seven, eight. See, now it's easy to, rep re uh, easy to recognize eight because we're doing the same thing that we did in our other videos. Five and three is eight. And two, how many, how many is this, two? Two. Two what? Tens. Two tens. Okay, show us what you're going to do with the, uh, with the ones. Or explain what you're doing. One, I'm two, I'm three. I'm crossing out four. I'm putting up there. I'm putting them up there. Okay. And, and then, then I'm doing. You've got one ten. Yes, now I'm adding right here, one ten. So you've moved ten ones and made one ten, correct? Yes. Okay, wait, now come on, now we, well now we can figure it out, right? Right. So, so let's take a look here, how many, uh, how many ones do you have left? Four. All right, so put the four in the right spot. And we've got, we had, we put, made a new one ten, so put the ten right there. And then how many tens do we have? Count them. One, one ten, ten, two, two tens, three tens, tens, four tens, four tens five, five tens, tens, six tens, tens seven tens, tens, eight tens. Okay. And that's how the, that's how the addition algorithm works, uh, using just a two-digit, two-digit, two two-digit numbers. Um, the goal, of course, going back to the controversy, the goal is not for the students to do this all the time. In fact, only do this until the point where they understand what they're doing. What we really, the, the goal is always to be in trying to work with the actual numbers in the actual algorithm. So uh, if your child is spending way too much time on this and they fully understand this, then there's maybe that's a cause to worry uh, because this is the goal. Okay? All right, we're going to erase the board, come back, and um, show you what it looks like without the ten value, the place value tables. Now that it's clean, we can actually we'll do a problem without the place value table. And of course, this is the whole point of, of learning the addition algorithm. We want the kids to all get to the point where they can do the addition algorithm without chips or place value tables or manipulatives or anything. And um, but the place value table is there to help us understand how the algorithm works. And you might have noticed that. You might have noticed that for every mark that Autumn made in the place value table, there was a corresponding mark over in the algorithm. Okay, let's do one, right? Right. Okay, let's do, uh, let's do a couple big numbers. All right, Autumn, what's the first thing that we do? We 
add the ones. Yes. What do you get? Eight. Eight. So put an eight right there. And now what's the next step? To add the tens. Add the tens. So what's this eight stand for? Eight tens. Okay, so eight tens plus seven tens is? Fifteen tens. Fifteen tens, which is the same as? One hundred and fifty. One hundred and fifty or one hundred and five right. tens. Mm -hmm. Where's the five tens go? Right here. Five tens go there. And where's the one hundred go? Okay, let's stop for a second. The reason why we put the one here instead of up here like we did when we were, uh, when we were kids is that you, the child can actually see the 15 tens. It's really nice. They can't see it if it's up here, but they can see it if it's right here. Okay, now what are we adding here? What is this? This is seven. Set, what's the seven stand for? Seven hundredths. And four hundredths and one hundredths. So what do we get when we add seven hundredths plus four hundredths plus one hundred? We get... Twelve hundred. Twelve hundreds, which is the same as? One thousand two hundred. Where's the two hundred go? Good. And where's the one thousand go? There you, there you go. Okay, now what happens here? Now, let's add five thousand plus seven thousand. Plus one. One what? Thousand. Yep. That is... 13,000. It's 13,000, so there's the 3,000 and the 10,000. And finally, what's 10,000 plus 20,000 plus 10,000? Four. Four what? Thousand. 40,000. Okay. And if you go like this, you get the answer. Now, the nice thing about this is that uh, the one of the beautiful things about using the algorithm a lot is that the kids get to practice their one digit facts. Look, They've got, in just doing this problem, Autumn got to practice one, two, three, four, five one-digit facts. So doing, doing el addition algorithm is also reinforcing all those great ideas that the kids learned when they were in first grade and second grade. And that's fun. And it's fun. Bye. And I have to say something. What do you have to say? I will.